Good morning. We are going to have a chat about bags. Today, I'm going to talk with you about the bags that I have, what I use, and what I use them for. As always, this is part of a larger discussion happening on our photo club, which is an educational environment focused on transparent education and learning as a community. If you are new here, hello, my name is Michael Kent. I create content on photography and how you can create better images, a better client experience, and sustainable business practices that can make sure that you don't burn out. So let's talk about bags. There are so many different types of bags out there. All of them claim to do everything. All of them claim to be the perfect bag that's gonna solve your every problem you have. But instead today, we are gonna focus on looking at the range of too many bags that I have that can kind of help you see how I use individual pieces and how they fit into like an ecosystem of different bags for different experiences for different uh, situations as a photographer. Okay, this is my main bag. I have had two copies of this bag. The first one I had to have replaced forever ago. Um, this is the Peak Design Messenger Everyday Bag or Everyday Messenger Bag, I think they call it. I love this bag. I have used it for the last collectively like eight years. I don't remember how long this thing has been out, but it has been out long enough that uh, they've done a third revision of it since. So I don't have the newest one, but this is the bag that sits on my shoulder for every single session. It's got enough space for multiple lenses. These can fold down. You can tuck a, you know, a full size camera body in here. Enough space here for <laughs> cough drops. I do memory cards in here. I keep, this is my like macro adapter for ring shots for weddings. I keep my batteries right here. Spare space for, well in this case, Instax prints. We've got a spot for keys and it just keeps everything really really nice and tidy it's very quiet to open and close at a wedding that's very important it also has a back spot right here for laptop and or a tablet this bag goes on every single shoot with me weddings families newborns anything commercial shoots anything that bag fits two bodies, three lenses, all the cards and, and batteries you're gonna need for the bit for the day. Um, I can't see a reason why I would not bring that bag to a shoot. Perfect, but it doesn't live alone. So with that, what happens, let's say you are, um, you walk into a wedding and you've got your two cameras hanging off the side of you and you want a couple extra lenses on you, that's fine. What about an extra sweater or your flashes or that one lens that you're only going to use for that one shot, uh, that stuff, I don't want to carry with me. So that stuff goes in one of two places. So this is the Peak Design Travel Cube, which is part of a bigger system. We'll talk about it later. This is a simple bag with lots of different dividers. I've only got half of them in here at most. Uh, I will keep a spare camera in here, a flash in here, a spare lens, straps, extra cards, extra batteries. This one comes with me to the shoot, but I will drop it someplace safe at a wedding. It's often with the DJ or in, a, in my car, someplace that I know I have access to it, but it does not need to live on me 24 seven and it does not need to add weight to my back. So I intentionally do not do a lot with off camera flash, but when I do need to, this is an old hand-me-down Nikon film camera bag that I got from a friend who was a press photographer back in like the 80s, 90s. And I keep strobes, diffusers, batteries, rechargeable batteries, wireless packs, everything that I need for that specific thing gets it left in here. Again, I don't want any additional weight that I do not need so this goes either in the car with the DJ, somewhere that I know that is, is safe and accessible when I need it. Okay, a new addition this year, I purchased the Peak Design Travel Duffel Bag, and this is great. It's pretty simple. If you open it up as, as kind of out of the box, out of the bag, it, uh, it's empty. Just a big empty cavity, but the Travel Cube from before, fits right in here. This 
opens up so that you can access this without having to open the cube every time. And there are attachment points inside this bag that allow it to stay bound inside here so that it feels like one bag. So now I get to decide, do I want a duffel bag that is not camera or do I want to add a kind of two cube camera system where I can have two lenses, two bodies, a lot of gear with me. Or I also have a smaller travel cube that just fits like one camera, one lens here, and then the rest can be luggage. Uh, I traveled to Colorado this year and I took this kit where I had two cameras, two bodies, my iPad, and then like one change of extra clothes because I was only gonna be there for like 30 hours. Super, super simple, super beautiful. Um, this also converts all these straps come off and you, you can repurpose them. Uh, this turns into like a shoulder bag, it is a shoulder bag. This turns into like a backpack style bag. So running through the airport with a second bag on your shoulder, super, super valuable. I know Peak Design makes a travel backpack, which is something that I don't have yet. I do have the everyday carry backpack, which I actually am in the process of, I just sold it like yesterday. Um, not my favorite bag uh, for a, lo a lot of reasons. It's it's essentially like one big cavity. You can drop things down the entire bag. And for something that's going to be on me every day, I would prefer something that has designated cavities for pens, pencils, um, lens caps, batteries, all those individual little, or you know, even like a notebook or something that I can carry every day needs to have little designated places for things so it's not just a big jumbled mess. Okay, to me, this is the most important category. This is something that I've talked a lot about, but I'm a big believer in carrying a camera with you everywhere you go. I carried a camera 24-7, 365 for almost a year in 2019 and 2020, and it really helped my work. It helped me learn how to compose better, to see light better, to see form and shape, and to find interest in things that I would not naturally find. So for me, having a, an everyday carry personal, like a purse that also can function as a camera next to the most important thing that I own. So this is the second version of the Peak Design Sling, Everyday Sling Bag. I had the original one and loved it and splurged when I saw the new one come out. Um, just a little bit bigger, a little bit more streamlined. It's you know, quite slim for being uh, such a, a large capacity bag. So right now I have the dividers tucked away so that I can put a, a full size DSLR in here, but this is my everyday carry uh, Fuji X100F. I've got my wallet. This is dental floss. <laughs> um, I've also got my iPad Pro tucked right in here with the stylus. There's enough room up top for a pen, some spare memory cards, some spare batteries. I keep some cash tucked away here. My AirPods go here, but I don't have them in there right now. Um, I have like a little carabiner on the side to, to stash things on. And then there's another whole other storage up here for like, there's a bag in there. Got my little, you know, multi-tool. That's a tripod. We'll talk about that. Okay, so that's pretty much my entire kit. Um, I have a few little odds and ends, travel accessories, dop kits, things that hold like cards and cables and stuff when we travel. Um, but that's pretty much everything I need to function for an entire photography season. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Obviously this is not sponsored by Peak Design. I just really, really like their gear and I have a ton of their stuff. Thanks for watching. If you like what we're doing here or just wanna join a kinder photography community, links to all of our platforms are below. If there's any questions we can answer in this shorter format, don't forget to comment below and we'll approach it in the next video. Bye.